And uh, I got to mention this too, because I saw it in this match. I saw it in another match. I saw it in multiple times in the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. I saw it multiple times in the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Jesus fucking Christ. Will people stop with the Canadian destroyers? Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. And if, if you're thinking I'm one of those people like, oh, you hate indie wrestling, oh, you hate this move, no, it's an amazing move. If anything, it might be one of my favorite finishers of all time. I love the Panama City Sunrise, the Panama Sunrise, whatever Adam Cole calls him when he does it. But he's a victim of this too. He does it constantly. I mean, he doesn't wrestle all that often. I see it far more in AEW than I do in WWE. But we see in WWE a lot too. Rey Mysterio did it to Andrade last week on the show. Adam Cole does it a lot. Um, Piper Niven did one here, which was very impressive, but they still should not be doing it constantly. I'm pretty sure I saw one in the ladder match, the tag team ladder match from uh, later on in the show. I saw one from Willie Mack, which was also very impressive for a guy his size, but they've got to stop doing these moves. they got to stop doing the fucking move. They did a Ring of Honor on Sunday. AEW does it constantly. Dustin did one. Pentagon Jr. does it constantly. They've bastardized the move. You people have got to stop doing the Canadian Destroyer. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, it's such a cool move, then why do you hate seeing it all the time? Because it loses its luster. It should be a move that ends a match. It should be a move that no one ever kicks out of. You know how many people kicked out of the Canadian Destroyer of, uh, of P.D. Williams when P.D. Williams did it? I mean, he's still a regular kind of an impact, but you know how many people have kicked out of the Canadian Destroyer? One person. Eli Drake kicked out of it when PD went for the Impact World Championship a couple years ago on the show. And it was a big deal when it got kicked out of the 3D. Another move that's only been kicked out of maybe two or three times. Um, I know someone kicked out of it in ECW. And then I think Chris Saban kicked out of it in TNA when it was Team 3D versus the Motor City Machine Guns. That's it. That's how you make a move special. I know they've bastardized the super kick and the DDT and the tope suicide and all this other shit, but it breaks my fucking heart to see the Canadian Destroyer just made out to look like another move. I know I'm not doing myself any justice here by talking and when my voice is shot, but it just annoys the hell out of me. It annoys the hell out of me when I see that move now. When you save it for a finisher of a match, like when Cole does it, I get it. And even Cole's kind of guilty of doing this too, where they'll do like four or five in the same match. And it's like, dude, if it's not going to end a match, stop doing it. God, it's so annoying. It was cool when Piper Niven did it here, but still, like they got to stop doing this shit.